Hi everybody, my name is Kenneth and this is my Hurricane Katrina refugee dog, Snowball. Um, back in 2005 when Hurricane Katrina came and devastated the coast down here in uh, down in the Louisiana area in Mississippi, uh, as you are I'm sure well aware, many people lost their homes and Snowball's previous owners were one of those. They lost their home uh, due to Hurricane Katrina and so they were displaced as a lot of people were. And so they came through Panama City and uh, shortly thereafter, a few months after, and they had um, brought Snowball. But because they no longer had a home, they had to give her up. And so they actually left this letter. Uh, I've kept it all these years and uh, it's been 10 years, but I've always kind of wanted to try to find the previous owners just to let them know that she had a, she's had a really good life since, uh, since they gave her up. We, you know, we have a huge backyard and she's, She's ran and played and she, she'd spend out all day and all night out there if she could. <laughs> she has chased hundreds, if not thousands of squirrels, you know, through our trees and just, and raccoons through our yard. So, you know, she, she loves to run and play and chase them. Um, she is getting on in years now. She, um, in the last few months, she has gone, uh, just, uh, as far as we know, she's gone completely deaf. Uh, but, uh, anyways, we're not sure how old she was when we got her. But we know she's at least 10 years old. She still gets along really, really well or gets around really well. Still runs and plays and, you know, and, and um, so at nighttime she plays with our other dogs. You know, she'll, they'll get down the middle of the floor and just start <laughs> playing, play fighting and biting at each other's ankles and, and whatnot. And, but anyways, I wanted to read you the letter that these people left attached to her collar. They left her at a pet store here in Panama City, Florida, and they left it at this uh, letter attached to her collar. It says, hello, my name is Snowball. I'm a very good dog and I can sit, I can sit pretty and roll over. I'm also fixed. I love kids and I'm housebroken. Love to run and play only with soft toys, please. My owners can no longer take care of me. We are Katrina survivors, but no place to keep me or feed me. Please find our old family friend a good home and may God bless you. Thank you all from all of us. P.S. We love Snowball and we hope you understand what has happened and we just want a good home for her. God, please help Snowball to understand it's because we love her. And so, like I said, I, I just happened to go in the pet store that day and, and they had uh, brought her into the pet store and they was asking everybody that came through uh, if anybody would be interested in taking her in. And so... Uh, I did, and uh, we have just enjoyed her her companionship all these years. Um, she was exactly as the letter described. She was she's housebroken from from day one, and she does she sit up and beg, and and she does little tricks, and she rolls over. and It was so funny when we first got her. Uh, evidently, the, the previous owners did not allow her on the sofa, but uh, when they were not around, when <laughs> she would climb up on the sofa. So it, you know, she had been trained whenever, um, whenever we first got here, she got her, she would jump up on the sofa when we were not home. But as soon as we came home, she would jump down immediately because she knew, you know, evidently these, these previous owners didn't allow it. So, uh, but we actually allow it. We keep our sof sofas covered. So, uh, anyway, so, um, but anyways, I would like to find, uh, you know, I'd like, um, maybe to find the people who, previously owned her just so that they'd know she's had a really great life since uh, Hurricane Katrina. Um, she gets treats every night. Uh, she's had other dogs for companionship. As you can see, this is my littlest dog, a little bit. Um, so she's a buttinsky today. She wouldn't, <laughs> she wouldn't stay out of the room while I was making this video. She insisted on coming in. So, but anyways, um, Snowball has just been a really sweet dog, really a wonderful companion. And like I said, I'd like for the owners to know if we, you know, if they ever see this video that she had a really good life. Okay. And she's also had any, any medical attention, any issues whatsoever. We've always taken her to the vet and she's, she's had, you know, really good health. Um, all these years, we've never hardly, I think maybe we've had one, one small problem with, you know, health wise, you know, a few years back ago, she's always just been extremely healthy for her age. Um, is, she's remarkable how well she, you know, she's not slowed down a bit. You know, she still likes to go out in the backyard, even though she can't hear right now. Um, 
she, you know, she really loves still going out in the backyard and just laying out in the sun. So anyways, um, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.